Hey guys, Brittany here with Frostbend, and we're just here to provide you with some encouragement this week, as usual. So, if you're someone who likes to have short, sweet messages of hope, encouragement, and inspiration, make sure to follow us on the podcast and on social media. But I want to get to today's point. So what I want to read is from James chapter 2, verse 22. I'm going to share the verse, and then I'm going to share what God put on my heart with you guys, and I hope that it just encourages you and provides you with some perspective this week, today, whatever it is you're doing. So... <laughs> Like I said, the verse is from chapter two in the book of James, and it says this. So you see that what he believed and what he did were working together. What he did made his faith complete. This is what I had to reflect. There's two points to having faith in Jesus. The first is believing he came and died for our sins. The second, I believe, is showing this belief and applying our faith to the good works we are called to do. The Bible says in James chapter 2, it is the same with faith. If it doesn't cause us to do something, it is dead. However, sometimes the showing of our faith can be the hardest part, right? (laughs) Because it can require us to be vulnerable. The sharing of our resources maybe, or time that we often just think we don't have. Sometimes it means just slowing down enough and centering our minds and hearts to align with what the Holy Spirit would reveal to us in that day or prompt us to take action for. But as much as we believe God sent his only son for us, we must also use this knowledge and belief to know that he has also prepared long ago so many good works for each of us to do so that we might show our faith through them to others. Not only does this glorify God and help others, but it also strengthens our own faith as we allow Jesus to work through us. Sometimes this indeed is the hardest thing to do, but we can know in full confidence God does not change his mind about us or the plans he has to prosper us and that he will be with us every step of the journey. So that's what I had to write. My final thoughts on that, you guys. Um, Sometimes it is hard to step out in faith. A lot of times it is. Faith is the absence of, it's of things we do not see. It is the hope we profess to have. And when we have to have faith in things we don't see or move, when we don't always have all the answers, that's scary from a human standpoint. But with Jesus, he is with us every step of the way. He wants to show us how faith can move mountains. It's not because of us. It's because of him. But he's looking for people like you and I who would have that faith that is as small as a mustard seed sometimes, as he tells us, to just step out, to give our best efforts, to put him first, and to stand up against the giants and say, not today. I don't have the answers, but I serve a God who does. And I know that when I stand in faith in him, he will work through me and for me. The Bible also says that he has plans to prosper us. Faith, if we have faith in that very statement, then we can move forward knowing that he wants to help us grow, to give us good things. The Bible says that every good thing comes from the Lord. There are so many good things. Even if you're having a bad day right now, I know that you could take a moment to pause and count three good things, even if it's just the air in your lungs that some people don't have right now. And so I just wanted to encourage you guys to really take seriously this faith, this concept of faith. It's not some cute, pretty thing to just be talked about. Oh, I have faith today. It'll all work out. Well, do you? Do you actually? And what does that mean to you? And how are you going to walk in that? Having faith doesn't mean being idle. the, The verse literally said in James, without good works, faith is dead. Dead. The Bible said it. I didn't. That's a really strong way to put it. So if we want to have faith that is alive, that is doing these good works, that is growing, that is glorifying God and helping others and allowing him to work through us, we got to move. That might mean pausing to help someone else. That might mean executing the dream he has put in your heart. That might mean taking a minute to apologize to whoever you might need to apologize to today. That might mean um, getting over yourself and realizing that it's not all about you. I'm just listing things that are coming to mind right now, but faith is alive. It is not just something that we should say we have without following it up with good works. And if you don't know what to do, that's okay too. Ask God. He'll reveal it to you. He loves to lead and to help us and to teach us. And he is gentle in doing that. Um, Even sometimes that might mean going through really hard moments that grow our faith, but he holds us through them. 
And some of the hardest times in my life have been the most important in my faith building. And while I may have felt beat up by the world around me, never once did I feel like Jesus had left me or was beating me up. In fact, I felt like I could go to him and be with him and sit and cry if I needed to, or talk or be angry, whatever that was. And I never got judgment from him. So I just want to encourage you, if you have this idea that Jesus is this judgmental king sitting on a throne, just waiting for all of us to mess up or judging our lacks of faith, that couldn't be more far from the truth. I don't know if you learned that in you know your environment growing up, or if it's something that just the devil tempts you to believe, but please know that's not the case. And um, you have power when you align and believe in Jesus Christ to do good works through your faith. He wants you to do the good works. That's the coolest part. He wants to use you. So please don't underestimate your power. Not your power, but the power that God gives you. Be strong in the Lord, not in yourself, in the Lord. So I'm going to wrap up because we are at the six minute mark. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love you all. Thank you for being supportive of Frostfund if you do in any way. But regardless, share this message with a friend if you felt it encouraged you or someone else might need to hear it. And we'll see you guys follow us on social media on Spotify and we'll talk to you soon.